Hello there, Internet. I am your host, J Man. Welcome back to Let's Play Lollipop Chainsaw. We left off. We basically entered a weird farm and found out that uh, Juliet's sister, younger sister, who was a bit of a crazy lady, was trying to pick us up at some at some old farm. However, it turns out to be the work of Saxon Hale's worst nightmare, a zombie hippie! Also, it turned out the whole thing was like a drugged up trip, and now we're being fought against challenged by Cool Cat. I take it that uh, Daddy Derek's cool, just that desperate for the kids now, isn't he? Now, I don't think I actually read the... Oh, Jefferson Airplane. Oh. At first I was like, must be Jefferson Starship, but I think they're a completely different band. So now we're at the arcade action at the Folky Fun Center. I'm very worried. Although knowing that Super 51 loves his 8-bit games, it can be fun! All right, folks. Oh yeah, the dad, Bruce Campbell, and Elvis. Uh, excuse me. Well, you be careful now about where you're touching my daughter. Oh, uh, I don't think his. I don't think the daughter minds. We gotta be careful. This Rosalind situation, so she don't get hurt. So I uh, guess the two of you haven't been formally introduced. Dad, this is. Nick, I know. You told me all about it. Failed to mention the uh, disability. It's kind of a new thing, sir. I... <laughs> you seem like a fine person, but whatever dude Juliet ends up with is going to be part of the family business. What are you going to do? Throw magic stars at chupacabras with your tongue? Maybe no, chupa thingies. Your tongue is very limber. And how do you know that? She doesn't. She doesn't know that at all, sir. She has no idea if my tongue is limber. How you even have a tongue to begin with? We're here. What the hell kind of place is this? How is that it's architecture even physically that. possible? All the kids from San Romero hang out after school. Look at this. I'll head into the building at the entrance, all right? <laughs> Daddy, you go around and sneak in from the back. Again, I don't know why I just love it. It's me. Zombies attention towards me. Well, you go up to the roof where Rosalind should be. Uh, Juliet, you just made yourself a decoy. Dad, <sighs> what's wrong? My little girl is a tactical genius. <laughs> your mom and me got a little something for your special day. Happy birthday, baby. Thanks, Daddy. All right, I'm off. Good luck, sir. Yeah, good uh, job awesome. kicking the ass. Sure Elvis Bruce. Stop sucking up. Sir. Campbell. And don't think I forgot that. Yeah, I'm calling him that. Either. I mean, they already referenced Bruce Campbell already. You're hiding in the shadows. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. <laughs> it's a 51. I'm not even surprised. So, uh, 
I actually found some in between the event my uh, filming the previous episode and here. I found out that uh I can't wait to thank them. Why did he look like the scout right there? Alright, so um, as I was saying, there actually is a remake in the works. Wait, that's a strip something? Uh. Look at the zombie geek zombieing out, killing zombies in video games. If we kill them, it'll be totally meta. Right, let's see. Uh, Gideon Starling. Juliet's dead. Ace. A zombie hunter, pure rock and roller, joining father to his daughters. Unknown facts. Cries every time a dog dies on TV. Oh boy, you're gonna love. You're gonna love Life is Strange. Yeah, I kinda. Yeah, that was a big no-no for me, for and why I hated. Uh, kind of one of the reasons why I didn't like Chloe very much. Even in self-defense, killing a dog is one of the worst. Uh. Oh. Fucked up the, is not a way for me to like a character. Self-defense or not. Like, if... Hey, Juliet, it's Mom. Have you seen your father? I, I don't want to be a worry ward, but uh, he was supposed to call an hour ago and hasn't. Oh, yeah. I also finally got a web camera. I, I love uh oh yeah like i said so there's some i think i might have told you this in a previous episode but uh, it's been a while since i've touched since i played this game or touched my ps3 in general Chains of Paradise, what's that? Oh well. Oh, I thought I said like strip something because no way I have any sex joke. Yeah. I won't lie, I think they kind of went a little too overboard with the sex jokes. Yeah, because I mean, it's not a. Uh, yeah, it's not a Super 51 game without some fuck, without some beautiful uh, 8 bit elements thrown in. What is that? What the hell is that red thing? But yeah, there's a. The remake's gonna be called Life Hop Chainsaw Rain Pop, and it got delayed to 2024. I mean, granted, they're like the how kind of like the rush era. Uh, damn, Warren, you have such shit luck. Michael Jackson? Yeah, it's called. Uh,
All right. Metal up your ass. Later, Warren. Yeah, again. I know these are. This is like two years old, but. <laughs> yeah. So my. I probably should not have. Man, I'm probably not gonna say it. F Funk Patrol. Disco Jesus. Wait, are they allowed to say that? Uh, I have to press X to doubt. I mean, I get it. They probably can't are allowed to say and they are definitely not allowed to say NES or and or Genesis. But uh, that's I think that's a little more modern compared to a uh, Commodore 64. Yes, I know what the Commodore 64 is, dumbass. Uh, taking a Dorku man out. Pac-Man. Is that another sex joke? Yeah, again, I don't know why... Stood 50 There's Pac-Man. Dude would be scarier if he wasn't wearing a fez. <laughs> well, the fez does look familiar. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Pac Man. You something is there ever has there ever been like a Pac-Man horror game? Because I think a Pac-Man horror game would both be hilarious, like in an ironic way, and terrifying as well. Because I know some guys actually did make a uh, horror game based on Duck Hunt called Duck Season. For those who don't know this, so the duck from Duck. So there was a dog in Duck Hunt that a lot of people seem to hate for constantly laughing at you every time you miss a shot and people just really didn't. I think Nintendo was trying to be like a little funny thing, but uh, it was kind of a dick move and literally everyone fucking hated this dog and... You win. And there were fantasies of kids wanting to shoot the fucking dog. Wow. I fucked up. Next level. Now seems like the perfect time to take a shot. Oh. Okay, I gotta turn off the music again because remember, any YouTubers make us copyright music. Thank you, game. Let's uh, do oh, I thought that was Pepsi. That'd be hilarious if Pepsi Man was in this game. Are you just rubbing in that I don't have triceps? So Nintendo original. So uh, yeah, I d yeah, my my buddy at work for the entire week has been. Uh, Basically, he's on vacation for the entire week, and uh, I was like pretty much the only one. Yeah. 
there and I'm half tempted to make a trans joke but I don't want to be transphobic Oh god, we gotta save more Warren. Yeah, again, I know. Yeah, if y'all remember, Life is Strange, the original, also runs on Unreal Engine 4. What? Are you gonna fuck a zombie? Wait, what? Oh, I'm sorry. I was thinking of something. Thanks, Juliet. Totally gonna friend request you tonight. Death metal is for pussies. Well, that's like the idea. Yeah, I was actually half worried that the rescuing the other classmates is going to be like a bigger, was going to play a bigger, bigger role. Because I do know it plays a role in like getting the time ending you get. James. Oh, I thought it was like Jim Jones. Oof. Oh yeah, I'm still kind of this around my VTuber idea, my VTuber stuff. Um, what's this? Oh, is this elevator action? The guy from elevator action. I love elevators. Who cares? Yeah, like I said, it's not, uh... Yeah. I never played Elevator Action. Wait, you think I'm an arcade... I know every arcade game in existence? Alright, this is all too surreal. If a little dude in a red cap and blue overalls pops out at me, I am seriously gonna vomit all over myself. This is great! <laughs> and then she only talked about playing uh, Flappy Bird and, and mobile games to the disappointment of uh, Birdly. Yeah, Birdly's a Thomas. Now is it the time to be talking dirty? Despacito. I <laughs> read elevators. The guy from Elevator Action! I ride elevators. Nadi Peter They say 
I'll try and get in my way. Wow. Oh, Pacino. It's not out anymore. It's, it's dunk. Dunk a Chino? Maybe a little better. Yeah, so I'm trying to make like a despacito. Got from elevator action. Oh boy. Good thing she's barely legal. Yeah, even I'll admit that joke was hella cringe. Says me. Was he throwing a Molotov? Check his backpack. He probably has a gun. Oh yeah, right, this is America. <laughs> yeah, I remember like... I was like, apparently the guy that made the... Sonic fan dub made one for Life is Strange episode 1. Like the first episode of Life is Strange, of the original Life is Strange. And I joked... I started having this joke headcanon that uh, David has the Second Amendment tattooed to his chest. And my... And so, uh... I told like one of my... The only other person I know that played the original Life is Strange. I was like... Who are American, I told them. They're like, I don't know what the Second Amendment is. I explained. Second Amendment is why we have guns. AKA why America's America. America moment. Stop zombies with portable steroids. Stop. Oh my god, is that Ellis from uh, Left 4 Dead? Oh yeah, that's also a Zamba game. Yeah, I think that would be like a, a weird idea for like a possible like a let's play like forcing my brother to play Life is Strange. I have to play uh Silent Hill with me. Probably Silent Hill too. Because what I do. All right, what's here? Yeah, again, it's not a 51 game about an 8-bit element. Are you ready? Portis, better here. What's this supposed to be? Pong? <gasps> it's Pong! <laughs> Zombie Pong RPG. Breakdance and Zamb. Keep going. You're destroying the wall. Oh my god! 
Stop the infected. Alright, one of our parents are calling. Does she have lightning powers? That's the important thing to note. <laughs> yeah, I did just, just wanna I know the irony of me being a straight white man I mean a ace demisexual white male making something like as a joke for lesbians. There we go. And now back to your regularly scheduled uh put this. Jesus, take the wheel. Take it from my bonus. Yeah, I bought this little webcam for my for me to do while I stream, so I can uh, do my VTuber stuff, so I can be, kind of become like a v proper VTuber. I just need like a commission. I might commission another person to make a model later in the future. I just say that's right. <laughs> Again, what? You kind of think of it. That kind of looks like the scout from. Kind of looks like Scout. God, that. Yeah, I remember like talking with my other co workers uh, about TF2 lore and how their favorite character, seemingly so far, is Soldier. Yeah, I still remember. Yeah, one time. I am not making a dime off that LP, of this LP, aren't I? But um, so my f so so a coworker that um, TF2 lore, and they they're so far their favorite character. But I told him this soldier. Especially just, yeah, because soldiers of the absurdity of soldier. If you guys don't remember, soldier is actually never actually served the military. That's robophobic. Is that another? Is that another sex show. Enough, Wesley. Yeah, how do you get, the, how does like spawning these, uh... <laughs> yeah, it's the, the heck, this game isn't exactly Don't Make Cry, but uh... It's a fun game nonetheless.
Yeah, I wonder if these, there's going to be like a bottle episode level. Where they like just reuse a lot more stuff. For those unaware, in television, there's a term called bottle episode. Where they, it's an episode where they, that deliberately does not use as many props where they use as, though as otaku, cause Travis, oh Travis's. Where they use, purposely use, try to use little to no, uh, no props or actors as possible to try and save money. A good another example. I can't think of any if any these episodes are well liked or not, but one episode I can think of. One of was that one Power Ranger Samurai episode where it was like just a clip show where they all on Christmas where they all just hung out in an elevator. I mean in the Megazord. Like I said, I, I know Samurai is not that not that well liked for season, but uh But that's like an example of a bottle episode, even though that episode was pretty much a clip show. Are you ready? Start. Jeez, we have to make it to the top without running into anything. I hope those dudes below aren't looking at my pink butt. We fall, we're screwed. We're just gonna have to keep going. Um, what's this supposed to be? I can only think of what game. I can only think of Frogger. Oh, oh I protected you. Frogger. Are you ready? Start. Jeez, we have to make it to the top without running into anything. I hope those dudes below aren't looking at my pink butt. If we fall, we're screwed. We're just gonna have to keep going up. Yeah, what is this supposed to be a reference to? Space Invaders? Yeah, I checked TV tropes in a a while ago. When I, like I said, I didn't like know anything. I know some plot elements, but like I said, uh, this is not a very story-driven game. But uh, we have to make it to the top without running into anything. I hope those dudes below aren't looking at my pink butt. We fall, we're screwed. Apparently, this is labeled as that one level. Basically. That one level is a term for a level that just, that just fucking sucks. Yeah, play lightly absolutely sucks and no one really likes to play.
Please tell me there's a checkpoint system for this part. Are you ready? Damn it! You win. I'm back. Uh, I got used to it. <laughs> yeah, I think I should have added like a checkpoint, like the halfway mark. Where's my sister? You. Yeah. Pop it! Super wow! Incredible! That's Travis touchdown. That's where we need to go, Juliet. Oh, uh. Disco G. Where is Disco Jesus? Damn, I can think of so many references I can make with you. You're the one from the phone. Give me back my sister. You're not a cool cat. Say pals of cocaine. <laughs> pals of cocaine. Josie, you do not have an R word pass. Oh, 
Yeah. Last game I could think of that. Exp yeah. I that was definitely from a time when saying the R word was like pretty much the norm at that time. I think the last time the R word uh, in a game I could think of that was like used in that context was Fallout 4. There was some guy, charge card. I killed him and took all his possessions. Yeah. Damn it! Yeah, I highly apologize. Yeah, this is definitely not gonna be a monetized LP, isn't it? Maybe that maybe that's why this game's getting a remake. So that Susan B1 doesn't get cancelled. I mean, uh We live in a homosexual city. So San Francisco. Not anymore is a blanket. The sun is a deadly laser. Octoberfest. What's my name? Al Pacino. Hold your game. Al Pacino. All your base are belong to us. Now it's time to conquer all of India. Rules of nature. Rules of nature. Despacito! Remember when Despacito was the funniest thing on the internet? Hey! Let's go, Jesus! I'd like a word with you! Oh, so it's just a two face fight? That's a lambo foe! did what I said? <laughs> I'm a mother freaking zombie! Drop the chainsaw now, ho! What the hell are you calling a ho? Hey, baby. Fuck me. <laughs> Go ahead, Julia. Oh, God. Then it gets. And then. <laughs> they uploaded a like, uh, Friday Night Funkin' Mod into his that, servers of that tether. Beep, bop, 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 beep, beep, bop, bop, this shit is cringe. Voice guy. <laughs> uh, 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 
yeah, like I said, the ring cut off here. I cut out the Arsler out because I just really hate Elon Musk at time over something that he made worse. Basically, at the time, ring code, there was like some Twitter limit for uh, server costs. And I. So I decided just. I was like, fuck you, Elon Musk. So I. Uh, But I cut it out the that some parts of that out because well at the time of uploading it was outdated. All right, let's see. Yeah, aside from the Arsler, that might have been my favorite zombie. All right, Zamp and Brank's answer. Last name was from a poor family. So he made his own parachute pants out of the garbage bags, hoping no one would know it's okay. Finally, one that's not a sex joke. Josie! Influences. Parliament Funkadelic. Is that a real band? Uh, Parliament Funkadelic. Um. Never heard of them. Rich Rick James, eight foot piles of cocaine and C three PO. So is he like? This is a pip croak. God, this game. Well, uh, that's enough right here. Like, subscribe, I expect stuff to see ya.